Archaeologically speaking, the Bronze Age is a period of enormous change uh, and we've got uh, several new technologies that start to appear and also the continuation of other technologies that we've already seen. So in the Bronze Age, in the early Bronze Age, we have the continuation of flint napping and stoneworking that we've seen earlier in the Neolithic and the earlier Stone Age. So here are two examples of what's known as barbed and tanged arrowheads. And you can see that the refinement of the technique of flint working is really taking place in these examples. Such tiny little flakes retouch on each side of the object to create a very sharp, very devastating point. We also have stone tools appearing in burials in the early Bronze Age. And this is a lovely assemblage from Wick Barrow, which is a, a large barrow monument that we've spoken about earlier, which contain the burials of five adults and one child. And so this is what's known as a beaker. It's a new technology that arrived in Britain with the beaker people. Um, and so what we've got is this beautiful vessel, which has got this tiny, very detailed uh, comb or punch decoration. We also have uh, a beautiful flint worked dagger with this um, amazing cream and blue uh, toned flint. And we also have the burial itself. Now, the burial of this individual was analysed by the archaeologists who worked on the site and they did three kinds of analysis. They did DNA, radiocarbon dating and isotope analysis. And what we learned about this individual is really fascinating. So from the DNA, we learned that this person was the first known redhead in Britain. We also found from the isotope analysis that they may have originated in the Netherlands. And also from the radiocarbon date, we know that they were a beaker. They were a beaker person. So this first wave of migration into Britain in the Bronze Age. So moving away from burials and stone tools, we also have really early evidence of metalworking in Bronze Age Somerset. And this is a fascinating object. We've seen this type already. We've seen flint axe heads, but what we've got now is the first type of metal axe head really that's being produced in Somerset. And what's interesting about this is that it's not an alloy. So this is a copper flat axe head. So this is before they've worked out how to make bronze basically. And it's such an interesting short period of time in the early Bronze Age where they're using this material before it's refined the techniques that we see later on.